how's it going everybody uh doing a i guess it is a request i got asked about uh if i was if i would do uh any kind of baseball playoff type ramble something to that effect and, you know i'll do a wild card round recap see how it goes if guys are interested in it i can maybe do one after the divisional round etc but that was not a fart that man so I, that sound came out of the corner of my mouth oh yeah i got the bracket here um this will probably go up saturday i'm filming it friday so there's another one man i'm involuntary mouth sounds i should make that video around um that was more of a throat sound, but the divisional round starts tomorrow, Saturday. This will probably go up tomorrow, so it will be up before the first game starts. Realistically, I'll probably get it up in the morning. But last game was last night. Um, all the series were sweeps except the Mets Brewers went to three. This is the new format. I think this format started last year or no, maybe it was two two years ago. I, see, I think this format started where they did that one wild card game for a little bit. I don't know how many years. Maybe it wasn't even one five. I don't know. Whereas one wild card game, that was it. <laughs> you know, you lose that one game, you're, you, you're done. No second chance. Uh, but now they had six teams, but these wild card rounds are three game. Best of three. And any home team in this wild card round is just gets all the home games. Like it's three games, they're all played at whoever had the better record, whoever's a higher seed. They all get all three home games, which is a little interesting. But but yeah, the Mets ended up beating the Brewers two games to one last night. Uh, pretty wild game, not wild really, but. Braves were up 2 nothing going into, I think it was the top of the ninth, and Pete Alonso hit a three-run homer to take the lead. Then they added one more run, and they won that game 4-2. Uh, to uh, So they move on to play Philadelphia. Phillies beat. No, Phillies didn't play. Sorry, they had a bye. Two teams get a bye. I keep forgetting. Two teams are the best records. One of the, the, the weakest division winner record-wise has to play in this wild card round, and that would have been the Brewers. Mets play the, the Phillies. The Padres beat the Braves 2-0. to zero. Um, I didn't realize. I think the Braves had a lot of guys out or something. I don't know. I don't know their full thing. But they beat them 2 to every other. Like I said, every other one was a sweep. 2-0 two to two, two zero sweeps. So the Padres beat the uh, Braves 2-0. to zero. And they're going to play the Dodgers. So you got two rivalry series here in the AL of NLDS with the Padres uh, and the Dodgers, Mets, Phillies. The Mets, Phillies one will be, I think, the more intense one. This is just coming someone who's, like I said, I've, I'm a Yankees fan. I've talked about this in the past. I don't follow baseball from a a serious fan standpoint much anymore. But back in, when I was working on Long Island, the print shop, one guy there, big Mets fan. My other friend is a Mets fan, but he's not super, you know, he's not. My other, the other guy there was the bigger Mets fan. He really likes baseball. And I was like, you know, everybody's like, oh, you're full of shit. And that's how my friends were. He's like, yeah, you're just pretending to like the Mets. And then you know, when they ultimately lose, you'll start giving every shit. I would, I would do stuff like that where I would pretend to be a fan. The full season, then turn on him, just kind of as a joke, obviously. But legitimately, I wanted to see him well, do well, because um, I've never hated the Mets. Even when I was younger, I never hated the Mets. I almost was a Met Yankee fan to an extent. And the fact that you know, I, I never. It's it's funny because you know, with it, I never had a problem with the Mets. And there was one of the, the less, like I said, in the Subway series in uh, two thousand. I was like, all right, I want the Yankees to win. Um, but even still, I wasn't talking all types of shit when they when the Yankees won. I'm, I only had a few instances of that, and one of the cases was the um, 
Denver beating the Jets in the 98 AFC Championship. Well, technically they would have been played in 99, but it was the 98 season. Jet fans were talking their shit and everything, and then they lost, and they got quiet. But I don't typically do that. Even with the Rangers, Islanders, typically I don't. And that's more of a, like, I don't like the Rangers in any sense. But I don't, I'm not one of these fans that does, I'm going to start talking shit repeatedly and stuff. I, I never really have been that way. Um, but anyway. Um, for almost more for my friend's sake, right? Like, I want to see the Mets do well on that front. So that should be a rival. That's that. Should, I mean, I know their rivals and their fans will be going at it and stuff, and uh, that should be a. They're the best of five. The the NLDS and the divisional series is a best of five. I almost think the wild card series should also be a best of five, but maybe it will evolve to that eventually, or make that best of five and even make divisional round best of seven. I guess then you have the season ending a little too late. And depending on where you are in the country, you could get really cold weather. I mean, as it stands, you know, you're looking late October. And the World Series starts. So, it, you know, depending on if you're in New York, Philly, the East Coast teams, it could be cold depending on where you are. Now, who's left? I see the Dodgers it shouldn't be a problem. San Diego, same thing, shouldn't be a problem. So you have two West Coast teams, two East Coast teams. Um, and then you have... I mean, you know, even still, though, on the East Coast, even in November, Philly or New York, late October, November, it's not that cold. Like, it shouldn't be that big of a problem. But I guess they think, oh, shit, there could be a possibility where all of a sudden this pushes to, like, a mid-November, you could have a problem, you know. It also depends on the team or where you are. But I just think they should extend that out. I don't know. Best of three to me is kind of at least just make the wild card best. Of, I don't know. Best of three to me is kind of, I don't know. Should be best of five. But those should both be good series, I think. I'm not going to make predictions here. I'm not good with that. I've tried that in the past. It doesn't, it doesn't work. But the Mets have been on a roll for a while, really. So they have been rewarded with at least. In, in, in reality, they've definitely been an overachieving team because nobody had any expectations for them. Because I remember I was still in New York when the season started and kind of like, Ugh, I don't know if the Mets are going to do anything. Those should do, be two good series, though. I think maybe the Brewers were expected to win their series, although their fans would say otherwise because they haven't had a lot of luck when they've been in the playoffs recently. And a team that's had even worse luck in the playoffs. We'll move to the AL now. The uh, Royals beat the Orioles 2-0. to zero. And those games, like I said, were all in Baltimore. And uh, the Bal Bal Orioles have lost uh, their last 10 playoff games, I believe, which is actually pretty wild because they had been swept last year. The Rangers swept in 3-0 in the Divisional Series this year, too. I don't know... Well, that's five, and they they must have lost one of those wild card games, those one game playoffs that they did, and then they got swept in. I guess it would have been the ALCS, but this is going back, I believe. To even God, what year was it? I saw it recently. It might have even been like twenty fourteen or something. I can't remember who it was, but I'm pretty sure they had an ALCS where they got swept. So that's. And they have a good young team, so they will continue to be good. The problem is that they're going to be able to start to get over that hump in the playoffs to where they can start winning some rounds. Um, I don't know. But. So, the Royals will be playing the Yankees. The Yankees obviously had a bye called here. Uh, Yankees are an interesting team because their pitching is decent. I'm not, and like I said, I'm, I, I haven't followed every team completely to know their ins and outs of every team. But the uh, Yankees offensively, 
they're going to in the playoffs. They're going to need some help because if Soto and Judge or even one of them is not performing well, they're kind of fucked because it's just they're a two man show. <laughs> they really are. Like if you look at the Yankees stats, those two, I think their OPS is both over a thousand. Everybody else is like, I think the guy they traded for, I don't know how to say his last name. I think he was doing pretty well. But everybody else is like in the sevens, I think, in their OPS. <laughs> and so if one of those guys is not performing, it's going to be a problem. If both of them aren't, unless other guys step up there, they'll be screwed immediately. I still think that will be a pretty good series. Because you have two uh, MVP cam. Was it Bobby Witt Jr.? His dad did play, I believe, too. Was he a pitcher? Um, I think it's that's his name. He's the shortstop for the Royals. It's him and Judge are the two, really the, the only two. It's the MVP for the AL is going to come down to those two. And they're both honestly deserving. So whoever gets it, it's almost one of those those things where you can be like, they split it like how they did it a few times in the NFL, I believe, right? Was it McNair and Favre or is it, was it the two of them that split the MVP in the NFL? It was McNair and somebody else, I think, right? I'm not wrong on that, right? I can almost see that because they they're both have been that good. And if you take the, took them each off of their teams, their records would be drastically different. I think he got the game-winning hit because those two Royals-Orioles games were extreme. I think the first game was one nothing, and the second game might have been like 2-1 to one or 3-2. to two. Um, But the Royals and the Yankees, they haven't had a playoff series, I believe, since 80, maybe, 1980. They played each other a lot in the playoffs of the late 70s, and then in 80, I believe. I think it was 80, or the the Yankees beat them two or three times in the 70s, and the Royals beat them. Maybe they beat them in that 80 series, I don't know. For sure, but... I think all these series will be good, honestly. I don't think they're going to be sweeps, any of them. I will, that will be my only prediction. I don't think anybody's going to get swept. And then all of them will be sweeps. <laughs> and the last game, the last series in the AL is Detroit. Another team that, they, they were like the Mets. They just, and I think a little, it happened a little later for the Tigers, but they just were on fire. They were winning everything. Charge into the playoffs. They sweep Houston, the Astros, right out, breaking their seven-year-in-a-row ALCS or better streak which was impressive. I talked about that in um, that Mountain Dew drink review and, and the Whispering Ramble. So Detroit is is playing... Why do I not know the other team? Cleveland. <laughs> I was like, who's the other team? I think that's going to be a good series too. So that's... that Three of these are divisional matchups. The Royals and the Yankees are the only ones that, that isn't to... Uh, divisional teams playing each other. So you got Cleveland, Detroit, Tampa, Tampa. Oh my God. San Diego, LA, and New York, Philadelphia. <clears throat> Mets and, and Philly. So you got some rivalries there, which are nice. I don't know how much of a rivalry Detroit and Cleveland is. I'm not f- super familiar with that division. So if you're a fan of either of those teams, let me know. I would assume there is a rivalry there because divisional opponents typically, typically are going to at least be somewhat of a rivalry, right? Yankees, obviously, the Boston is that's the rivalry in there. And Mets and Phillies are the big rivalry, but the Mets have a rivalry with the Braves, a little bit of one with the Marlins as well. I don't think they necessarily have one with the Nationals. Who else is floating around that division? Is there another? There has to be another team in that division, right? Philly, Mets, Braves, Nationals, Marlins. Who's the other team? Why do I not know any of this stuff? I'm not well versed with the baseball as, as I used to be. Um, let's take a look at the old standings and find out who am I missing. Let's try to figure it out. Who am I missing? Oh no, Pirates are not in the division. Who am I missing? I'm not gonna be able to think of it. <laughs> No, it really is only the five of them. All right, then. I was wrong. Why? Okay, so, no. They're all five-team divisions. Why did I think... Oh, you know, I'm thinking hockey has, like, eight teams. Why was I thinking there were more teams floating around? I'm out of it. I'm baseball. (laughs) 
That's why you don't want me to predict anything in baseball, because it will be wrong. Um, so, yeah, they don't really have much of a rivalry, I feel, with the Nationals. And the Marlins is a small one. The Braves and the Phillies are the ones. So if you look at the divisions here, I'll ramble on now about baseball. It's not playoff-related. Yankees have the rivalry with Boston. I would almost say they have, a, I guess, a little one with the Orioles. But Tampa and Toronto, I guess it depends on the year, too, right? The Red Sox are always the Yankees' chief. Though that Those two teams hate each other, right? That's the rivalry. Fan base is everything. It's similar to the Philly. It's more intense probably than Philly and the Mets, but maybe not. I guess maybe the Astros. Like, I'm looking at the NL, the AL West, and I'm like, who are the rivalries here? I don't even know. The the NL Central's got them. Cubs, Cardinals definitely got to be a rivalry. I would think the Cardinals almost have a rivalry with every one of these teams. And then Dodgers, Padres, Dodgers, Giants as well. Did the, Pad- did the Padres and Giants have one? Like I said, I, let me know if you're fans of these divisions and, and what the hatred level is of these other teams because I'm a, I'm almost going by past as well, you know. The Diamondbacks, I would assume, have rivalries with some of these teams as well. I feel like the Rockies don't because they haven't had success really in a bit. And they are... Well, at this point, when did they come in the league? Like, 93 or something? They haven't. They've been there a bit now, but... Were they always in the West, or did they pop another division at some point? Because I know they had to do the realignment and stuff. But anyway, that's a, a recap and a very slight preview um, of the divisional series. I think I don't think anyone's going to be a sweep, honestly. I could see out of the four of them, I could see at least two of those going five games, if not three. I really could see that Dodger Padre one. I could see going five easily. Um, Cleveland, Detroit, I feel I can go five. I think all of them could go five, to be honest with you. And of course, like I said, they'll all be sweeps, and I said they wouldn't be. <laughs> but anyway, that's just a little bit of a recap there. Nothing crazy, and just in rambling a little bit. And let me know what you think about who's going to win and whatever. If your favorite team's still floating around. Um, But yeah, uh, thanks for checking this out. And have a good day.